That should be game over, Stuart. It should be. Good decision by Erling Haaland. He thought about going for goal. He was in behind Varane. Decided to give himself and his team a corner here. And they're going to just play it short. on a bit of added time for the substitution and it's still in play just and cleared out of play on to the six minute now Nathan Aki's just got to throw this ball down the touchline and get it over the top of Wan Bissaka Get it forward one more time, maybe Manchester United. Referee looks at his watch. And that's very, very coolly done. By Akanji is across on the right-hand side now. And the Premier League champions have won the FA Cup. The derby final produces a double for Manchester City. And their treble chance is still on. Still on the coupon with their Champions League final still to come. Even more pride for Pep and his players, yet another prize, and this in unique circumstances. United unable to halt them, but they gave a very good account of themselves, but they couldn't deal with the volleying, for volleying for Ilkay Gundogan, V for victory for Manchester City. And United's pretty good season, the League Cup and third place in the Premier League after what Den Haag inherited, it's a genuine improvement. But you can see the desolation, the extremes of emotion, Stuart. Absolutely, but over the course of the 90 minutes, tactically, technically, Manchester City are a better team than Manchester United at the moment, but you have to give credit to Manchester United, they stuck at it, they had to keep changing their system slightly, they kept on finding ways to stop Manchester City dominating the game, but overall, Manchester City are a magnificent team and fully deserve their victory. And they rode the disappointment. Controversy, maybe or maybe not, the penalty incident. We've seen them given. And it was given today. Well, City last beat United in an FA Cup tie in the semis here 12 years ago. They went on to win the competition. But this victory takes them straight to the trophy. So it is Manchester City's year then in the Emirates FA Cup. Goodness me, they had some work to do after they made it 2-1. Gundogan the hero. Both goals at the start of either half, one with the right and one with the left. But Manchester United did themselves proud in the end, Clive, didn't they? They, they came on strong late on. They certainly did. It was a valiant effort from Manchester United against the best team in the country and going behind twice. A fabulous FA Cup final, desolation for United, jubilation for Manchester City. Here's the emotion of the Manchester City fans then. And when they took the lead, 12 seconds into the game, who would have believed it would push them right to the end? Tain Hart can be very, very proud of his side, but of course he doesn't want to hear that. Manchester United beaten in this cup final, having won the League Cup final. And for Manchester City, well, the focus is well and truly on the treble. Inter Milan wait next week. But Inter Milan will have seen things that they believe they can exploit here, Clive. City were a long way from perfect today. Absolutely, but uh, I think Pep Guardiola, you can see the, I think, relief in his body language. The Manchester City supporters absolutely ecstatic and you can understand why. Domestic double, the treble is on. But what a game to win as well, let's not forget that. The FA Cup final against your City rivals, against your biggest rivals. It means so much to them and the fact it was something of a rocky ride at times makes it mean all the more. Thankfully the contentious penalty decision in the first half ends up meaning nothing we can put that behind us and forget about that and celebrate Manchester City's doggedness ability to dig in and hold on to that lead and turn it into a win Erling Haaland will 
be more influential in games. He'll play better than that. I'm not sure John Stones has ever played better than that. He was simply outstanding. Yeah, for me, Dave, I thought he was City's man of the match. Moving into that midfield role, quite exceptional the way he controlled the game at times. That was vitally important for Manchester City. A wonderful Stones performance. Yeah, Oasis in the house, as we saw, but much of the talk will be of the Stones in the centre of that midfield, how he influenced things. There's the celebration from Erling Haaland and City's togetherness carried them all the way. They are a winning machine, not always in this competition, but Pep has a second and he is absolutely thrilled by that, as you can see. If they can go on to the treble next week, what an achievement that will be. For Tain Hag, well, it's about building blocks. This, in a way, is another. Many thought they would be simply washed away today, but that was far from the case. United are going in the right direction. City, though, are a lot further down that path. They will lead the celebrations and then their focus will turn to next week. Of course, we will have the presentation of the FA Cup for you shortly. But for now, we can soak up these Manchester City celebrations. And even though teams win so much, well, you know as a player, never ever underestimate what these days mean. Uh, special days, and this is a, a special moment for, for Manchester City, a domestic double quite incredible season when you think uh, Erling Haaland joined he was bought to do exactly what he's done score goals he hasn't today but he's contributed to a team in his first season winning the Premier League and the FA Cup quite a remarkable season for all of these players something that in later life they will remember absolutely forever they probably didn't think that they were going to see this oasis but they will absolutely revel in what Pep Guardiola and his Manchester City team have done. And of course, if John Stones wants a tutor in terms of playing that position, Pep Guardiola would be the perfect person. So much of the coaching achievements makes people forget what a player he was, but he was the forerunner to Xavi. He was sensational in that Barcelona and Spain midfield. And you can see a touch of emotion from him. We don't often see that, Clive. No, I thought he, 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 you could see the tension etched on his face, certainly in the latter stages of the game. But his charges have come through once again. He believes in them. Great ability. An absolutely sensational season to this point. And it could be and get even better next weekend. What a team they are. What a collective they are. What they continue to achieve. How they continue to add to what they have. That's so impressive as well the recruitment of manchester city must never be underestimated and they are all smiles at the moment great moments for those supporters as well dave wonderful scenes for the blue half of manchester you have to feel for for the reds for De Gea and his fellow teammates the season i think has not been a, a poor one as far as Manchester United are concerned. But the blue half of Manchester dominate. There's no doubt about that. The best team in the UK, are they the best team in Europe? That's to be decided next weekend. Yeah, we will find out next weekend. And I'm sorry for bringing this up, but dare I ask, what does it feel like, because you've been there, to be a Manchester United player right now? It's horrible. It is not a place you want to be as a loser. I, I, I feel for the United players, I have experienced that. But you've got to say, it has been the most unbelievable Manchester City season. I'm not sure he even believed, he would say he did, but to be in this position, striking for a treble, even Pep Guardiola will say, wow. Yeah, absolutely, they're starting with the uh, presentations. I think I can hear uh, the referees and so on being uh, called forward. Yeah, 
Here they are, not a bad person to give you your, uh, your medal after the FA Cup. And of course, there will be losers' medals and then Manchester City will mount those steps. All is being readied. Suitably uh, awkward as they wait for the uh, the players to head up those steps, and then of course they'll come back down to celebrate. And here go the Manchester United players. First of all, led by Bruno Fernandes. Hard day for them. They came so close, but they weren't quite good enough on the day. Let's get back to Stewart and Martin. Bruno Fernandes and he is loser's medal. First in the League Cup, third in the Premier League, second in the FA Cup. It's not been a bad season for Manchester United, although there will be no consolation listening to that from them um, for them at the moment. Yeah, certainly better than the last couple of years. Rick Ten Hag has come in and he's, as you mentioned in the commentary, they're more disciplined both on and off the field. Had some big battles to win and he won mm. them. To question whether David De Gea could have done better for the second goal and why didn't he die for the first one but he's been a great stalwart for them been a brilliant goalkeeper for Manchester United over the years Prince of Wales handing out the medals of course president of the Football Association Fred who did his best and at least Kevin De Bruyne didn't last the game so he obviously had some effect but very difficult for Manchester United's midfield players because they were so often outnumbered in there. They weren't quite sure who to go and press, when to go and press, whether to drop off. So they had to do a lot of work. It'd be interesting to see the running figures of those midfield players of Manchester United. City waiting respectfully, but about to climb the steps joyfully. Ten Hag getting some sympathy from some Manchester United followers. And his sense of organisation, as I say, off the field as well as on it, has carried the team forward. But he knows they need strengthening. Of course, they've got an ownership issue at the moment. What's going to happen with that? What money will be available in the transfer market? They're talking about getting Chelsea's Mason Mount. On the subject of Chelsea, uh, Matteo Kovacic is in link with Manchester City. And now the winner's medal is Andy Well, that's if Gundogan goes. The player that just well, scored two goals in the cup final for them. Yeah, and who knows what he'll do in the Champions League final. But no bump in the road on the way to history today for Manchester City. They will be very strong favourites to beat into but it's been a competition that they just haven't been able to master they've been in very good positions a number of times of course getting to the final losing in the knockout stages not quite punching their weight against Europe's elite and I don't mean to disrespect Inter but uh, they, uh, they played very well to get through the All Milan semi-final. So here goes Pep. 
his 11th major trophy, two FA Cups, five Premier League titles and four League Cups. If there's a Champions League to add to that, by, I was going to say this time next week, it'll be a bit later, won't it? will be in the evening. But that will almost wrap it up. Well, gone are the days where the managers used to come suited and booted in the <laughs> club blazer. Plenty of style, Pep Guardiola. Yeah. Not yeah. sure where it went today. <laughs> for the record, some £3.7 million for winning this competition. That includes the £2 million for winning the final, but increment payments getting through the rounds. It's not huge money by the standards of the Champions League and the Premier League, but it's not to be sniffed at. But it's not for the money, it's for the medals for this group of players. They join Aston Villa, Manchester City in sixth place in the all-time list. Arsenal 14, United 12, Chelsea, Liverpool and Spurs 8, 7 now for Manchester City. moments even for players like and managers like Pep Guardiola they can flash by and I don't blame anybody for being slow along the the balcony there Alex Ferguson who managed the uh, Manchester United side against Pep Guardiola's Barcelona yeah. in this yeah. very stadium yeah. where they were completely outplayed Barcelona won that game comfortably in a great performance Board of Manchester City, well represented. Pep manages upwards, but he manages downwards very well as well, as these players will all testify. We had Mara as a bystander today, having got a hat-trick in the semi-final. And two against Chelsea in the third round to start it all off. Julian Alvarez scored in that game as well. But here's the, the man of the moment. Not just the captain, but the man of the match. John Stones would have pushed him very hard. City have done this double League and FA Cup as they did in 2019. And just to emphasise again, one win away from a treble which would emulate Manchester United back in 1999. And if they were looking at the last two games, this one against Manchester United, the game against Inter Milan next week, this would be, on paper, the tougher of the two games, you'd think. But this is football. And, uh, of course, Inter will have a say. Get the Champions League back to Italy. Medals to be cherished. And a cup to be proudly lifted. Be Hewitt there, chair of the FA. Well, an occasion which is truly a credit to the city of Manchester and its football. It belongs today to Manchester City. FA Cup winners 2023. There's no feeling quite like it. And can they repeat it all again next week? It's been a top-class performance from them today. They had their moments right at the end of the game where they were under a bit of pressure. But overall, they thoroughly deserved their victory. They showed all their tactical awareness, all their technical quality. And those fans can go away from the stadium knowing another trophy is in the cabinet. And they survived conceding their only goal in this FA Cup run, the penalty from Bruno Fernandes, which levelled the count. But they came again, and the shared silverware.
reward for an amazing amount of work that goes into it. The training ground started in August where they actually lost the Community Shield to Liverpool, a game that was played at Leicester. That might have even been in July, actually. And here we are in June. It's been an odyssey and it ain't over yet. As those players will be quick to tell everybody when they do their interviews afterwards. But special moments for Manchester City. A very special team with a genius of a manager. A winning machine. And I think you've hit the nail on the head. A genius of a manager. That's what Pep Guardiola is. He's inventive, he comes up with new ideas. He gets the best out of his players. And what a coach, what a manager, and what a team Manchester City are. Gareth Southgate right behind Pep Guardiola. I don't think he needs the P on the chest to let us know who he is. A strategist, a perfectionist, and players we don't always get the right kind of decisions in terms of selection but he's found this group it'd be a surprise if the champions league at edison will be back in goal for the final i'm sure although ortega did very well today and set up uh, in great part the opening goal after 13 seconds They're taking it home. They are Manchester City Football Club. And Manchester v City can rightly claim at the moment to be the football capital of England. So those are the moments that you play for, those are the moments that you dream of, those are the moments that Manchester City hope they have again, this time next week, just about, in that Champions League final against Internazionale. But they will savour the rest of these moments and how special it must be, Clive, to go up and uh, get that FA Cup, get that trophy and hold it aloft. And, of course, what is now a half-full Wembley. A wonderful day for Manchester City and their players, Erling Haaland. All smiles, what a first season he's had at Manchester City. Top goal scorer, Premier League winner, FA Cup winner. Quite unbelievable season for Manchester City. Yeah, not bad. And the celebrations will continue here as they line up. And this will be the photograph for the album. Pep Guardiola is going to be in on this one as well, or this is just players only. There's Gundogan, who scored both. Inevitably will be the hero, will be all over the back pages, but John Stones was simply outstanding. His was, in many ways, the performance to take from this game. So here is the photo for the album as Manchester City can celebrate. FA Cup winners 2023. Here comes the staff, the hundreds of staff that back up this incredible squad of players.